Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Year of Cooking Canuck. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. A big shout out to all of my new subscribers. Hey guys, and a welcome back to my current subs. Um, I'm a little scrappy. What do you think, guys? Anyways, on today's segment of Memories of Macedonia, I'm going to take you guys on another field trip. This time, we're going to go to the village of Vevchani. Now, when I say village, it's more of a town, actually. Now, Vevchani is famous for a few reasons. Number one, the Vevchani Springs. These beautiful, pure mountain springs are everywhere in the village. They are channeled throughout the village, beside the streets, in people's yards, in their properties, and everywhere you go in the village, all you can hear is running water, and it's absolutely beautiful. The second reason why they're quite famous is because when Macedonia broke away from the Federation of Yugoslavia, Vemchani made their own currency and passports. Of course, today it's more for touristic, um, you know, for the tourists, basically. But they did make their own currency and their own passports. They are very Macedonian. And that's the other reason why they're famous and why I went, was because of the restaurants in this village. For the size of this town, the amount of restaurants that they have is unbelievable. And they all serve very traditional Macedonian fare. Now, I was told to go to Via Ignatia. And this restaurant is named after, obviously, the famous Roman road, which connected north, south, east, and west, which ran through Macedonia. This restaurant is not only set in beautiful surroundings, but the food is absolutely stunning. And I was allowed to film in the restaurant, and I wanted to bring you guys along. Uh, guys, I don't do restaurant reviews as per se. However, I wanted to give you an idea of the type of fare you will find in Vevchani in the Republic of Macedonia. So guys, without further ado, may I present to you Via Ignatia Restaurant in Vevchani, Macedonia. <laughs> Via Ignatia Restaurant is located in the patriotic village of Vepchani in the southwestern part of Macedonia, 14 kilometers north of Struga. The restaurant itself is located on beautiful grounds with spring water, fountains, and beautiful greenery. The restaurant even grows its own vegetables and herbs. There's even an aviary and a children's playground for guests to enjoy. The restaurant itself is indoor and outdoor with whimsical areas for you to enjoy your meal. Hey guys, I'm in the village of Vevchani. And I say village, it's more of a town. This is a beautiful place with fresh springs all over the place. So all you hear is running water. It's so picturesque and very beautiful. Now the reason I've come here is because I heard it's a foodie in Mecca with very traditional Macedonian food. Um, now, for the size of the town, there's quite a lot of restaurants here. Now, I'm at a beautiful restaurant with beautiful surroundings called Via Ignatia. And that is the famous Roman road that ran through this region, uh, right down into Ocrid and other parts of Macedonia. So guys, I'm here to sample the food. Now, they do have very traditional things. They also have things like pork shanks and you name it. But um, I'm, I'm trying to do a little bit of sample of a few things here for you to get an idea. And I've gone to something a little more um, familiar to you guys uh, with the kebab china. But they do have other things as well. Um, but I got a lot of food, so I'm going to show you what um, I have here and show you the surroundings here. It's absolutely stunning. The restaurant is um, located beside a river. They have a fountain, and there's different little niches for people to sit in. This funky thing. And they also have their own fish, which is protected here, and you can sit riverside. It's absolutely beautiful here. So the first thing I have here is the uh, Vivchansky Salata. And there's some rucola in here, carrot, onions, cucumbers. It looks beautiful. 
And then of course I have a pitaki salata. And that's to start. They're gonna bring me some bread, of course. And I'll show you what else I got. Guys, this is called komat, and it's a leek pie of sorts, um, or a uh, pita, um, as we call it. Um, very beautiful. And I'll show you as I get other things. Some sparkling water, of course. The Vavanchka Salata has um, lettuce, rucola, onions, carrots, cucumbers, um, and it's in a beautiful mustard dressing or mustard sauce. Um, very different. This is to their region here. That's a big bite. Mm. Very fresh. So guys, it's a comat or leek pie. As you can see, it's quite flaky. And with leeks in there, let's give this a try. Mmm. It's not greasy. It's very light, actually. Beautiful leek flavor. So I'm gonna have my piperki salata here with some bread, of course. Guys, this bread, it's like a pella. Um, I've just lightly salted this. Um, usually it comes seasoned already. You can taste it if you want more seasoning or um, <coughs> oil or vinegar. But I can see that there's garlic and parsley on here. I normally just, uh, take it by the stem and bite it. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. Mm. Wow. Guys, they are grilled to perfection. They have that ch like smoky charcoal taste. Fantastic, and that bread is amazing. So guys, what I have here is a traditional sarma, and um, this sarma is done with Swiss chard, sometimes with cabbage or even grape leaves. And in this sarma, this is vegetarian, um, there is um, rice, onion, carrot, tomato, pepper, and zucchini. So that looks lovely, smells great. Something you're familiar with, guys, kebab china. But look at these roasted potatoes that it come with. And they put some bukowsko on the onion, which is nice. Um, and he brought me an additional plate of home-cut chips as well. And they look really good. So let's try these sarma. They smell so good. He said it was hot, so be careful. Hence why it's on this. Wow. That looks good. Ooh. Ooh, hot. Oh. That's really different, guys. Oh. So good. Mmm. This Swiss chard. That is really, really nice. I'll make uh, good work of this. Mmm. Oh, wow. Perfectly cooked. The rice isn't mushy and the leaves aren't soppy. Excellent. Really love this one. Really want to dig into these kebab china. Of course, you need Bukovska pipa. What I do is just 
Put a bit on your plate. Guys, these are good. Some onion always goes with it. These potatoes look so good. Wow. Very smooth and buttery tasting. Really, really nice. I do have the chips here. I, this is not balsamic vinegar, vinegar, it is actually red wine vinegar that's kind of um, condensed. Oh, these chips, I know they're only french fries guys, but these are home cut and they taste so good and they're seasoned perfectly. You think I have enough food, guys? Catch you in a bit. Gotta eat. Guys, I'm just back because I wanted to mention something to you. Um, I had one of the summers that tasted different, and I confirmed with the waiter. It's actually... Um, some are done with the Swiss chard leaves and the others are done with beetroot leaves and they are really interesting flavor guys did you really think i was going to eat all that food <laughs> here's my doggy bag i basically could only manage about half of everything i had so that's basically two meals for one I do have some of my sparkling water left but there's always room for dessert guys i have here palachinki which is the Macedonian crepes, and there's banana on top. There's some cream and chocolate. I've cut it so I don't make a mess. There's a pancake. Oh. Oh my goodness. Mm. Okay. Insert porn food music now. I need to be alone, guys. Let's take a walk around. I came for late lunch and I guess there'll be dinner parties coming soon or people for dinner. Beautiful restaurant, guys. Mm. 
is a children's play area. Oh, little houses and cottages for the kids to play. That's really good. <coughs> Here it looks like a for a big party. Oh my goodness, they even have Avery's down here. Let's go take a look. The town has a very famous spring. Everywhere you go, there's water gurgling. <coughs> it looks like they have their own produce too that they grow. Um, I see pumpkin and zucchini vines and tomatoes. Look at this. There's some peacocks here. It's like a little zoo. They have their own natural spring water that comes through. Isn't that lovely? Peacock. Hello, my friends. <laughs> Japanese silk chicken. He's a funny looking character. Looks like they have some regular black chickens in here, maybe they are. Silkies. Now, I didn't order chicken for dinner, and it's a good thing, because I kind of feel bad if I did. <laughs> but they also have a little stream. This is the chicken or domestic chicken, obviously. Silver pheasant. And there he is. Oh, there's some more here. Hi, buddy. Aren't you pretty? <laughs> Love the noise they make. <coughs> Very impressive. Well, we all know what these are. Domestic kinds of pigeons, it says. Wow. Grouse or uh, ordinary pheasant, I should say. Hi there, you're pretty. One boy or two boys. And all those ladies. Partridge. He's pretty. Hey, buddy. Oh, show off. I guess they keep the females separate here. Partridge. These are like, this is another type of partridge. The Hamilton guinea fowl. They're cool. And then the little river ends off in a little pond. Or the duck. Oh, there's babies. How cute. <laughs> the duck. Hey, buddy. Very, very nice. I'm really impressed. Really, really, really impressed. And there's peppers, strawberries. Oh, look at those peppers are growing over there. Beautiful. That's where my peppers came from at dinner. So this is a great place for the family, for friends, for a date, 
bring the kids. There's a kids area. There's even like a mini zoo. And these cages are kept fairly clean. I mean, pigeons are filthy. So that, <laughs> that's kept pretty clean. You don't smell them. Lovely little houses. How cute. Right, so let's go finish the tour. Looks like they grow their own corn too, guys. Wow, look at the size of those corn cobs. Pretty massive. Herbs for their herb garden. Fresh herbs. And here's uh, the pens I guess they keep for their fish. Don't think there's anything in it right now. Just the sounds everywhere. Gurgling. More seating. And here's where the water comes from. It's bouncing. The bridge over there. This is very typical in Macedonia. They'll build something like uh, that resembles a mountain with fresh springs coming off the top. Because that's what we have here in Macedonia. And this water, guys, is not, you know, from the tap. This all comes from the springs. And it goes on and on and on through the whole town. Veers off in little channels here and there. So guys, I recommend you come to Via Ignatia restaurant. It's a great experience, great food, and you won't regret it. Thanks for watching this episode of the year. You can connect with this segment of Memories of Macedonia. Love all your comments, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't. Share, comment, and we'll see you next time. Ciao for now.